Hey everybody, this is Deborah from Joylux TV celebrating everyday luxury and everyday experiences. Today I'm going to do a quick comparison video between my Alma PM and my Sienna MM. Coming right up. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see and you would like to hear more from me, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button below, the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Before I get started, I'm wearing my new Miranda Fry earrings and um, her, the necklace that I just um, unboxed with the little pendant, the cross pendant. Um, I wanted to wear that and I'm wearing one of my new t-shirts um, from Drelux TV. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a quick comparison video between my Sienna MM and my Alma PM. The Sienna and the Alma are pretty comparable in size, just like the one I just did between my Sienna and um, MM and my um, my Speedy 30. Um, they're pretty comparable in size as well. The, C uh, the Sienna is very, um, a little bit more uh, structured and so is the Alma. So I wanted to see with both structures um, what can fit in what what bag. My Sienna I'm wearing right now so I'm going to take her out and show you what I have in her and then I'm going to put what I have in her inside my Sienna, I mean inside my Alma and then show you the pros and cons between both bags. So if you're interested in that Let's get started. My Sienna is already packed with everything that I use because I'm wearing her right now. I finally stopped wearing my Gracie. Um, I've been wearing the Graceful for about six months now, but I decided to change bags. I'm going to link the dimensions down below. Um, uh, I can easily go and uh, measure them, but I, I just wanted to get to the nitty gritty of the comparison. So I'm going to link the, the information in reference to height, weight, and um, depth. Uh, between both bags. As you can see, the Sienna um, opens wide here and then closes a little bit at the top. The Alma Soda does that as well, so it'd be interesting to see what I can fit in here and see how it fits in the Alma. Let me show you what I have in this bag so far. Um, I'm going to take that out because you don't need to see that, but I'm going to show you first and then I'm going to take out everything that I have in the bag so you can see what's in here. So, I'm carrying this to work, and I'm going to open this up. I have my Agenda MM in there. I have a mini wallet, a, victor, um, a victorine wallet. Um, I have a clay. I also have my six ring key holder. I have my card case and en front. Um, I also have um, some Altoids and um, some lotion, my glass case. My glass case in there? No, but it should be in there. Um, but it does fit in here. And of course, my phones. Let me see if you guys can see that. So, and um, and my badge <laughs> to get inside of the work, inside work. So two phones, and um, one's work, one's personal. And of course, I have the things I just mentioned. I'm gonna take all this stuff out, see if I can fit it in my Alma, and also see if I can fit anything extra in my Alma as well, because this bag is pretty, it's, it's pretty full, because um, I had a pretty stock, uh, pretty full. So I wanna see if um, anything else can fit inside, uh, besides the stuff that I have in here in my Alma. Here's my Alma PM. Um, it is a vintage bag. I will also link the dimensions down below. As you can see, it starts out wide, just like the Sienna here, and then it comes narrow to the top. So um, in reference to space, um, I think the Alma has a little bit more space down at the bottom, a little bit more surface area down at the bottom, and then gets narrower and narrower at the top, more narrow than the um, Sienna. So let me take the stuff that was in the Sienna and see if it fits in the Alma, which I do believe it will. So the Alma, this is, as I said, a vintage Alma. It only has this one pocket right here. That's it. And then it's just a big open space. 
So as you can see by uh, what I previously showed you, the Sienna, the Sienna had one big pocket and then it had two little small pockets where I had some of my smaller SLGs in. This is just one big pocket. So I think it's going to be almost the same experience that I had comparing my um, um, almost the same experience when I compared my Sienna with my Speedy, right? Because the Speedy only had that one pocket as well. So let's get started again. Okay, the thing is, is that um, in the Sienna, I have my two phones in the big pocket and I know I will not be able to fit my phones in, in this pocket. That's just not gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna show you guys right it's just not gonna fit it's not conducive for uh, an iPhone and these are both iPhone successes so those would just go in the bag and so I'm thinking that this is going to be the same type of experience as I said that I had with my um, my speedy and so I'm gonna try and fit these two little SLGs. This is my card case that I have in on front leather. And then of course I have my six ring here over. And let me see if those can fit in. Okay, they both fit in there. It's a little tight. They both do fit in there. You know what, let me close up the key holder all the way and then Okay, so you can see I've had them both in there. So they can fit in there without a problem. Um, it may stretch the canvas a little bit. Um, I don't think so, but um, they can fit in there. So it's a little, it's a little wide. I was able to put everything in this um, Alma plus um, a pochette. No, no, no. Plus an accessoire. And... Um, it's not as bad as the Speedy, where the Speedy, everything just flops everywhere. And I, it's because this bag is structured. Um, there is no structure with the Speedy bag. And so you can see that everything fits in there. I have everything that I had in the Alma, I mean, everything that I had in Sienna fitting in the Alma. And plus I have an extra um, accessoire in there as well. Um, I think it is not falling all over the place because of the fact that it is a structured bag. And so the one thing I love about this bag is that you can use these two little um, hooks here. You see this hook here? This hook right here. This hook right here, there's one on this side and then there's one on this side that we you put a strap. Um, you can either put a crossbody strap, a shoulder strap, and you can wear it crossbody or um, shoulder. Now the Sienna does that already. It has um, a strap that comes with it, but you can also put a strap on this one too. So as you can see, they're both comfortable in size. I could, can fit a little bit more in my Alma um, than I can fit in my Sienna, but um, I think I prefer the Sienna over the Alma um, out of the two. If I had a choice, I would take this bag over the Alma bag. Um, the thing I do love about the Alma bag is that the zipper goes all the way down, um, so it opens very, very wide. Um, this opens pretty wide as well. Um, however, um, I think with the compartments that, that are in this bag, it helps me fit a little bit more in this bag. Not more, but it helps me compartmentalize the bag without buying something to do that. And um, that's why I, I prefer this bag over the Alma. Um, is a classic that's why it's in the collection um, uh, but I think I carry this one more than I do my Alma and so um, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments section below um, yeah let me know if you own both bags and uh, what you think what, what are your thoughts between the two bags and which one you prefer over the other Again, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when I'm uploading another video. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, I love you guys. Be blessed and continue to be a blessing.